you know, before before games, before big games, all the games are big and they're all important because it's the next game. You put so many hours, so many days in the preparation for only so many opportunities to actually play the games. It's always been important for me to make sure I have laser focus on what my job is, to make sure that I'm, I'm prepared and I'm ready to do my job to the best of my ability and to play to win and have an aggressive mindset. It's not that I have to deal with the opponent, but the opponent has to deal with me. You guys are ready, okay? We all know that, okay? It's about how we play. Free hurt pain. 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 prettiest game in the world, okay? But at the end of the day, we got the job done as a team, okay? And that's the way it's always <coughs> gonna be. It's gonna be offense, defense, and special teams working together, everybody being unselfish, doing your job, playing for the man next to you, just like we talk about every day. We sat here nine months ago, and we talked about making a change for this program, right? Yes, sir. We were gonna get better, and we're gonna win championships, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so, this is the first step, but got to give the game ball to my man, Coach Tucker. Big win for the Buffs, year one, game one, under the watch of Mel Tucker. We left the meeting with him yesterday, and you said something very interesting. You looked at me. He said, Mel Tucker is a superstar in the making. And that was my exact sense as well. Colorado's got the potential to do something. We built this thing in a weight room. Okay? We built this thing in a weight room. It's going to be physical right now today. You lay it on the line for the guy right next to you. You see what I'm saying? Whatever you see, you hit. Finds a hole from the shot. Oh, knocks the ball loose, and Nuwatu follow comes up with the fumble. Turnover, Nebraska. How about that shot by Onu? Everything they have. You gotta love it. Hey man, this is hard. Yes, but we're built for 
Yes, That's sir. the best they got. That's the best they can play, and we haven't even scratched the surface on what we can do. Okay, offense, defense, special teams playing together for a game of time. Throw, swinging out in the right flat, making a grab. Katie Nixon, he turns away from a couple of defenders, steps out of another would-be tackle, and the hits inside Mustafa, and from behind, there is Alex Changa bringing him down. Off the Jordan Nagin, runs the right side, turns the corner at the five-yard line, steps out of a tackle, and into the end zone goes the freshman. The Motor City product was motoring that time. Downfield, Katie Nixon, he makes the grab of the 45, gets away from the defender, KD at the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown! Now throws it downfield, Jalen Jackson wide open, 35, 30 yard line, 25, 20 runs to his right, inside the 20, outside the numbers to the 10. Off the bangle on the right side, he's got a big hole and he waltz his in. Touchdown! Touchdown Colorado! Touchdown number two! And then right there was Davion Taylor who blew up the tight end. Stefano at 32 years old, swings the right leg, and the short kick is up, and it is good, and we're tied at 24. The Buffaloes have been down 17-0. Montez the snap, play action, sets the throw, he's going for the home run, Tony Brown is in the end zone, and he makes the crowd, end zone, touchdown, touchdown Colorado, oh what a throw, oh what a catch by Tony Brown. And it's intercepted by Chris Miller. An interception by a young defensive back. He just bumped the receiver out of the way, made the grab. When you're down 17 nothing coming out of the break, 31-31 with a chance to win it at overtime. Inside handoff, Alex left side, he turns a corner, gets by a Husker, cuts back, spins inside the 20, down to the 15, still on his feet, and he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. Is to throw. He got hit and he sacked back at the 32 yard line. And who was it? Oh, how about Mustafa Johnson? By Isaac Armstrong. Snap, put down, kick is up, it's on its way, and it is no good. The Buffs win, and the black and gold have knocked off the Huskers for the second year in a row. He is very much a player's coach. And, and by a player's coach, that doesn't mean that. Uh, that he's soft or that he's not, uh, you know, rigid. What it does mean is that he's somebody that has a great relationship with his players, that he over-communicates with them what expectations and what uh, his demands are. And, um, and I think that you see that through and through. He, he has a way of um, kind-hearted but also getting on to him. And the guys know that he loves them, and so that he knows and he loves them, they're going to play harder for him. Even when it's the, the highest of stakes, you're going to see him, I think, be a very poised. He's going to be intense, but he's going to be very poised and, and well thought of at that particular moment. And, and probably the most telltale sign for me is being on the offensive side and watching him work over the years that I've been able to do that is, is the way the kids play. They play with unbelievable effort. They play with passion. They play with physicality all those things and you can see he preaches that and that kind of comes back to his relentless theme and you can see that come to come to be on the field. You know our job right now as coaches we have to find ways and find out why we're not as consistent as we need to be and um, we'll do that we'll look at the film we'll be very very critical um, like we always are and uh, and uh, and then we'll get ready for the next one so um, that's the approach that's what I told the players um, that's what we're going to do, and we're going to move forward. All right, guys. Hey, that's a tough one, right? That's a tough one. Now, how do you respond to a loss? It's going to be evaluation from the coaches, okay? We're going to lay it out to you, okay? And then we're going to move on, so what, now what? That's what it's going to be. You got what I'm saying? You don't, you don't got to make excuses. 
You don't got to hang your head. Now, you don't got to do any of that. That's not my expectation. My expectation is not for you to do that. My expectation is for you to take it, put the class, okay, give those guys credit, okay? Think about what you need to do better, get the take, get the correction, and let's get ready for the next one. That's my expectation. For myself, for you, for the coaches, is that we keep rolling. Because all of our goals that we have are right out in front of us still. There's still everything we want out of this football team, we still have out ahead of us. And it's up to us again. You walk out of here, take your shoulders back, your chest out, your head high, okay? And knowing that we're gonna come back, we're gonna fight our ass off. We're gonna keep fighting, we're gonna keep fighting, and we're gonna find a way to get better. So we can have better execution, so we can be more consistent, so we can get the results that we want. And that's what this game is all about. You have to say, so what now was, even if you win. If you win, you gotta move on to the next game. And so, this is not a final situation. You know, we're, we're, we're continuing to work with this football team. Um, I, I feel like we have tremendous upside and we have to figure out a way to get it out of them. And that's, 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 that's why they call us coaches.